Hey fellow writers, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to self-publish your book on Kobo. Now, if you wanna see more videos about writing and self-publishing a book, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you stick around until the end of this video, I will show you how to get free content off of my website. In this video, I'll explain what Kobo is and I'll tell you the pros and cons of self-publishing your book there. I will also show you what you need to actually self-publish your book. And then I'll get into a tutorial that shows you screen by screen what you'll need to do to set up your account and self-publish your book on Kobo. And then I'll also end the video by showing you how to get a free checklist off of my website that will show you how to write, refine, and self-publish your book. First of all, Kobo is one of my top five places to publish books. If you've seen my previous video on the top self-publishing platforms, you'll know that Kobo is number five on my list. So I recommend you start with number one, publish your book on Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing first, then publish on Google Play Books, Barnes & Noble Press, Apple Books, and then Kobo. Here are some of the pros and cons of publishing on Kobo. First of all, one pro is it has very broad international distribution. So if you wanna get your book into distribution worldwide, Kobo sells electronic books in a lot of different countries. Next, it has a really good partnership with Walmart. So if you want your book on walmart.com, publishing on Kobo is a great way to do that. It's also free to publish on Kobo, and then Kobo will give you very generous royalties. They'll give you 70% royalties on your book. So every sale that you make on your book, you get 70% of the revenue, Kobo keeps 30% of the revenue. Some of the cons with Kobo, first of all, it does have a smaller customer base. It's not as big as Amazon, but nobody's as big as Amazon. And then the other disadvantage is it's ebook only. You can't do paperback, you can't do hardcover book, you can only do your ebook. Here are some of the things you'll need to publish on Kobo. First, you'll need to set up an account and that will require you to have your bank account information, including your bank routing number and your bank account number. You'll also need your tax ID. And that way Kobo can notify you and they can also notify the government how much money you earn during the year. To publish each individual book, you'll need your manuscript file, you will need your book cover file, and then you'll need some details about your book, which I'll tell you about here in just a second. First of all, your manuscript will be for your ebook and you'll need it in EPUB format. You could also have it in PDF format, but it works a lot better if it's formatted in an EPUB file. If you don't know how to format your book in an EPUB file, watch my other video about how to format your ebook. For the book cover, you will need that book cover file in either a JPEG format or a PNG format. And that brings us to the details you'll need. In addition to the manuscript file and the book cover file, you'll need some details about your book, like what's the book title? How do you want the author name listed? Do you wanna include a list of contributors? So people other than the author who you might wanna give credit to. And then you'll want a really good book description, also known as a book blurb. So if you're not sure how to write your book description, go back and watch my video on how to write a book blurb. Now let's go into Kobo and I will show you step-by-step step how to set up your account and how to publish a book. The first thing I want you to do is go to kobowritinglife.com and when you get to that site, you'll see a page that looks like this. On this page, click at the link at the top that says self-publish. When you do that, you'll see a button that says get started. So click on the get started button and it will allow you to log into Kobo. There's a variety of ways you can log in. If you have a Walmart account or Facebook or Google or Apple, you can just use those accounts and that will give you access to Kobo. I'm gonna set up a new Kobo account. You don't have to do this. It's actually easier if you log in through Walmart, Facebook, Google, or Apple, but just to show you how to set up a Kobo account, I'm gonna show you. Click on the button that says Rakuten Kobo. It'll pull up a screen that has a link that says create Kobo account. If you click on that, all you have to do is enter in your email address, confirm the email address, enter your password, and hit continue. And that'll establish your account so you then can go into the Kobo dashboard. This is where you're going to be entering information about your books. The first thing you'll want to do is click on the ebooks link at the top, and that will allow you to hit a button that says create new ebook. When you hit create new ebook, you're going to see some links on the right side of this page. And these links show you the five steps you'll need to take to publish your book. The first link is describe your ebook. Next, you have add ebook content, rights and distribution, set the price, and then finally publish your ebook. So let's start with describe your ebook. 
The first thing they want to know is what's your title. So type in the title for your book. If you have a subtitle, go ahead and enter it there. And if you have a series name, you can enter it. If this is just one book that's an individual book, you probably don't have a series name, so you can leave that blank. And then you scroll down. Under authors, it might automatically show your name. You can change that if you want your author name listed differently. And then there's a link that says add another author. If you have a co-author or if you have anybody else you want to give credit to for your book, go ahead and click on that link and enter their information. For publisher name, if you're a self-published author, feel free to just put your name there as the publisher. If you are going through a publishing company or if you want to list a company as the publisher, you can enter it there. It'll ask you for the imprint. And if you're a self-published author, chances are you're just going to want to leave the imprint field blank and then go down to the line that says, is this the first time you're publishing your book? If it is, say yes. If not, say no. So this is the first time I'm publishing. I'm going to say yes and then scroll down and it'll take you to a page where you can upload your book cover. And it tells you that your book cover needs to be either a JPEG or a PNG file. Just click on upload your book cover, find your book cover on your computer and click on it and it will upload your book cover. Then scroll down and it asks you about your ISBN. You don't need an ISBN to publish on Kobo, so you can skip this field if you don't have one. If you do have one, go ahead and enter it there. If you also have an ISBN for your print book, go ahead and enter that. If you're not sure what an ISBN is, go and watch my video that talks about ISBNs and how to get them. Enter in the language that the book is written in, and then choose the button for whether or not the book is public domain. Public domain means that anybody has the right to publish the content. If you've written the book yourself, then you should have the copyright to that book and it will not be public domain. So chances are you're going to want to click the no under is this content part of the public domain. And then you can start entering your categories. Click on edit categories and choose the category that most appropriately describes your book. Kobo will show you a list of suggested categories. The book I'm writing is a business and finance book. You can choose whatever category best represents your book, and Kobo's going to let you choose three different categories. So go ahead and click on the first category. That'll pull up a subcategory list, and then you click on the subcategory, and then keep drilling down until there's a checkbox. Check the box for the subcategory that's most appropriate for you. And before you hit the confirm button, look around and see if there are any other categories that your book might want to be listed under. And again, Kobo will let you choose up to three categories. So go ahead and pick the three categories that best describe your book and then hit the confirm button. Then scroll down and you can enter in your book synopsis. Now, the book synopsis is what people will read when they're trying to decide whether or not they're going to want to purchase your book. So this is also known as a book blurb, also known as a book description. This shouldn't be a full description of everything that happens in your book. It essentially is a commercial where you're going to want to grab people's attention, give them enough information so they'll want to read the book, but don't reveal too much here. Go ahead and enter in your description. And once you do that, you can hit the save and continue button. That'll take you to the second step in the five step process, and that is add your ebook content. One thing you'll notice is throughout the Kobo site, there will be these little circles with a letter I in them. When you click there, it will describe what you need to do for this step. So this step is simple. All you have to do is click on the little magnifying glass button and that will take you to your computer and you can find your manuscript file there and upload it. So click on the EPUB file that you've already formatted and then that will upload your book. It might take a few seconds, and when it's done, you'll get a message that says your ebook is ready to be published to Kobo's catalog. Click on the next button, and that takes you to the third step in the process, which is rights and distribution. The first question it'll ask you on this page is apply digital rights management, yes or no, and you'll see that's toggled off. If you want to apply digital rights management, just click on the button, and that'll toggle it on. I usually don't apply digital rights management because I want people to be able to share the book with other people. I also want them to be able to easily share the book across different devices where they might want to read the book. If you want to make it more difficult for people to share your book across devices and with other people, toggle on apply digital rights management. And then it'll also ask you geographic distribution rights. That's asking whether you own the rights to the book in all territories. So if you've written the book, chances are you'll own the rights to it across all territories. So you'll probably want to toggle on the geographic distribution rights. 
Then scroll down and it takes you to maximize your sales, which means you can enroll your book in Kobo Plus. Now, this is not exclusive. This is different than Kindle Select. Kindle Select, if you enroll in their subscription program, you can't distribute your ebook anywhere else. With Kobo, you can. This just means that if people have a Kobo subscription, they will be able to read your book for free and you'll get a portion of the revenue from all of the Kobo subscriptions worldwide. So there's probably more upside to this than downside if you enroll in it because you'll pick up revenue from people who enroll in the subscription and choose books on the subscription list. So personally, I toggle that switch on so I'll be in Kobo Plus. And then if you wanna make your book available to libraries so that they can purchase it, you can toggle that button on and it'll ask you for the library price. The library price is usually higher than the retail price, and that's because libraries will purchase your book and then they will lend it out to multiple people, so they're willing to pay you a little bit more since more readers will be reading your book. So I enter in $9.99. As you'll see on an upcoming page, my retail price is $4.99, so I choose to charge libraries double to make up for the fact that they're going to lend my book out to multiple people. Once you've made all of your rights and distribution selections, then click on the save and continue button. And that takes you to where you can set up your retail price. The first thing you're going to want to do is enter your default list price. For my eBooks, I choose to charge $4.99. You should do some research and see what other books that are similar to yours might charge. And your price point might be different depending on the categories that your book is in. And then you can scroll down and Kobo will automatically calculate the price of your book for all of the places where your book will be sold through them. And as you can see, it converts it into the monetary unit for that local country. So it has euros, it has US dollars, it has Canadian dollars, Japanese yen, and you can adjust these. So if you wanna change the price in any country, you can change it and then hit save and continue. That'll take you to the final step in their process, which is publish your ebook you can enter in the date that you want the book to be published. Chances are this will be today's date. So if you have all of the content up and ready to go, just enter in today's date. If you want to make it a future date, you're welcome to do that. And Kobo will hold your book until your release date. Then you can hit publish ebook and a window will pop up that says we'll take care of it from here. And they'll notify you that within 24 to 72 hours, you should expect to see your ebook on Kobo. So what you'll want to do is go to Kobo's bookseller site and type in your name as the author and hit that little magnifying glass button. And if your book is ready to go, it will show up. So here's the book I just published. If you click on the listing, that will pull up the page with all of the details for your book. So this is what a potential customer will see that will help them decide whether or not they want to buy your book. So make sure the book cover looks good, the title, the description, the price, and all of the details related to your book look the way you want them to look. If you see anything you don't like, then just go back into the Kobo website and republish anything. If the cover didn't turn out well, if you wanna make changes to the description, if you wanna change the price, you can make changes to those things anytime you want. Once you have it just the way you want it, then you're gonna to wanna to tell people it's available for sale. Your action steps for this video are, first, create your Kobo Writing Life account, the way I've shown you in this tutorial. Then you can publish your book on Kobo, and once it's published and everything looks good, tell everyone you know, and that way they can start buying copies of your book. Now, at the beginning of this video, I told you I would show you how to get a self-publishing checklist off of my website. If you go to the link that's included in the description for this video, you will see a page where you can enter in your information and then you'll be able to download a self-publishing checklist that will show you how to write, refine, and publish your own book. It's a very useful checklist. It shows you all the steps you'll need to take to get your book into publication. If you want to see more videos about how to write and self-publish your book, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hopefully this video has been useful. Hopefully it's going to help you get your book published on Kobo. I wish you the best with your book and happy writing.